All right, here we are. Wasp 127b. This giant exoplanet. This giant gaseous exoplanet, bigger than Jupiter, about 522 light years away. This giant cheese ball looking. It's like some cheese ball, right? I'm going to color on it. So again, it's, let me write, it's orbiting a star. It's orbiting a yellow star. Let's make sure we have our, I'll use yellow anyway. So, so it's orbiting a yellow star, which they call, guess what? Wasp also, right? So the, they name the star and then any the exoplanets they find, they name the exoplanet with a letter. So this is a, it's orbiting WASP-127. And this planet, this giant planet bigger than Jupiter, is is actually very light. It's the it's one of the lightest planets they have detected so far around the yellow star. And remember, our sun's a yellow star also. And WASP-127, the yellow star, is slightly bigger than our sun. And WASP-127b is slightly bigger than Jupiter. So even though it's bigger than Jupiter, it's nowhere near as massive as Jupiter. So if I mean it's actually lighter than Saturn, and Saturn is our lightest planet. Now, if you could take Saturn and you can put it in this gigantic ocean, but you can't on Earth because Saturn's much bigger than Earth. But let's say you you found some ocean out there, Saturn would float on water, and so will Wasp 127b. So Wasp 127b is bigger than Jupiter, it's much lighter than Jupiter, much less dense, we should say. It's less dense than Saturn, and it may be the, the, the least dense planet out there. It's also extremely hot. It's so close to WASP-127. It's so close to its parent star. In fact, if you think about in our system, let's get a clean page, by the way. I'll just write the temperature. Its temperature, so let's put it right here. It's 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's its temperature, which is about 1,093 degrees Celsius. So it is extremely hot, hotter than any planet we have in our solar system. Remember, Venus is our hottest planet, and that gets to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, let's just show you a comparison. This is uh, from NASA. Uh, you can see right here, NASA. And there's a comparison between our sun, right? You can see our sun here. Get our page going. There's our sun right here. And there's WASP-127, a slightly bigger. They're both G-type yellow dwarfs. They call them yellow dwarfs. Let's go back to the comparison between Jupiter. And here's Earth compared to WASP-127b. I guess we can keep it here for a minute. So if we look at how far away it is from its star, it's so much closer than Mercury is. And we think of AU as astronomical units. We, we Earth to the sun, we say, is one astronomical unit. And so one astronomical unit, let's write it over here, one AU, which, you know, you know Earth to the sun, is about 93 million miles. So far, Earth is, you know, here's our sun and here's Earth. That's one AU. And if you think of Sun to Mercury, Mercury is close to closest planet to the Sun, it's 0.4 AU. But if you're talking about the Sun, the star, that's WASP. And the reason why they call them WASP, by the way, it's, it's called a wide angle um, search. Wide angle search. That's why it's called WASP. And so from the star WASP-127 to WASP, the planet, 127b, it's 0 0.048 AU. Extremely close. Over here, I'll, I'll write WASP again, what it stands for, why. And there's many WASPs out there, by the way. Are there other WASP stars because of this system? That's how they should write it, actually. So it's wide angle search using a wide angle search photometry. Just a way of trying to detect exoplanets. And remember, exo means out of our solar system. 
finding a lot of exoplanets out there. And if we, we know that it's very close to its star, it also can orbit its star in about four days. Four days. So that's what its year is. A year on WASP-127b would be four days. Imagine that. What they also found within its clouds is they found some sodium. Let's change the color. Let's put sodium up there. Now, a lot of people are writing about this who are not scientists, and they take sodium, and they think it's table salt. Well, they haven't found table salt, but they did find sodium. And remember, sodium is Na. To make table salt, you need NaCl. Let's write that better. NaCl. You need sodium chloride, which they haven't said they found that in the clouds. But they have found sodium. They found lithium. And of course, it's also made of hydrogen and helium, just like Jupiter. 